Hi guys, it's Ray and this is a book haul. It is a big book haul, but it's also a birthday book haul because it was my birthday last Wednesday. Oh my god, I am I'm 25. This is this is a very weird thing for me. And so yeah, I have a few things. I shall yeah, I'll start with the stuff I bought for my birthday, although not many people have actually bought me books. I've mostly just been buying them for myself. I've had money and stuff off people, but I have just bought a lot of stuff. Although one thing that I wish, you... <laughs> yeah, this this is a birthday present that I got my parents uh, that we bought. Wow, um, we were in Florida because <laughs> Rachel, Ron, I couldn't kind of say no, and it's like, it's it's really warm. It's <laughs> it's like ninety percent wool or something, so it's it's a bit scratchy if you don't have something underneath. So that's why I've been like, I've got I've got my shirt, I've got a shirt on underneath it. I need more plaid shirts. I don't have enough plaid shirts. It's 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 terrible. It's very annoying. Um, but yes, things I've bought with birthday money. Um, I shall I shall go for this pile. Oh, there's a. I have molted into one of these books. Oh dear. Um, but basically, um, the weekend of like the fourth or so. What is my hair doing? My hair is doing terrible things. Um, I went. To, um, I had like a sort of birthday meal with the parents in uh, in Nottingham. So. I, I I went and uh, on the way in in we kind of went to a few places. Tea, yes. I I'm going for the very appropriate mug of uh, my elephant house mug. I have not been, but I had secret means to get this. It wasn't secret, it involved a job. Um, but I'm gonna put that down and hope to God I don't just knock it over myself now. Um, but yes, on the day I. I need to make sure I take out the ones that I uh, didn't buy on that particular day. Have I got all the comics I bought? Yes, I have. I'm slow, slowly going mad, forgot, forgetting what comics of um, not comics, graphic novels I've bought when. But um, there's a comic shop in uh, Nottingham called Page Forty Five, and on that weekend they were having their thirtieth birthday thing, so we went to like, let's go and frequent this comic sh um, shop that we've not been to before. Uh, so I bought a few things from there. I got. Uh, in Real Life uh, by Cory Doctorow and Jen Wang, which being the infant I am, that makes me chuckle because <laughs> Wang. Um, I got this. I got volumes one and two of Saga since Jess has read all five and is in love with them. Um, so yes, I have these to start myself. And then um, from there, um, we went to the Finn, went to Finn Planet at some point. It might have been on Saturday. I can't remember. Uh, but I also got Rat Queens um, Volume One, and I have I I read this uh, um, when I was at Jess's last week uh, before day, and she read it as well. And we are now both in love with Rat Queens. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I also since carrying with the graphic novels one here. Um, Saturday? No, Sunday. Sunday went back to page forty five. Um, because I was in Nottingham again for um, another birthday party for my gran and also me, uh, because my birthday too. And I found Rat Queens Volume 2, um, which I am super excited to read. Although it's going to be like May or so until we can get the next one, which is a bit sad making, but <clears throat> so happy. And I also bought Lumberjanes because, uh, yeah, I, I, I've really... <laughs> I kind of kept toying with the idea of, bu of, of buying this because it's it just no else even his art looks so funky. Mm -hmm. And the second volume for this has just come out, I think, so I have that for when I need it. Right, those are on the floor, so I don't throw them everywhere. And also from the weekend before my birthday, when I went to Waterstones, <laughs> I went to Waterstones. Not even Waterstones have seen a bit too much of me recently. They've seen far too much of me. I've spent a lot of time in Nottingham Waterstones recently. They should have just hired me. They should just could have just stuck me on a till for three hours on Saturday. It's fine. I'd have, I'd have, I'd have been great. I have done that job before. Um, but um, on the weekend before, I went prowling around trying to find um, some stuff, and I got myself. Uh, the Iron Ghost uh, by Jan Williams. I really, really loved uh, the Copper Promise, and I've been waiting. I kept, this came out in May, in not May, March time, but it was a big kind of paperback, and I wanted it smaller to match my own. But this is a very weirdly floppy paperback. I don't know, don't know what headline I've been doing with the printing, but it's it's very floppy. It's very fun. Um, so yes, I, I've got this to read, which I'm really excited about. 
I might have to read Copper Promise again just to remember what, just refresh myself. Um, also, while I was downstairs in the fantasy section, I got um, Doctor Who Magic by V. Schwab. I I have read this. I I, I do. I did. I read. Yeah. I read the ebook uh, back in March, February, end of February, when it was in, in France, and I was just in love with it. And I kind of need a physical copy because pretty covers and shit. So I need this. So I got it. I did use, um, I was using like Waterstones points, got like a 17 quid of Waterstones points, so I used some of those. I got Six of Crows by Lipa Dugo, so cool. I kind of like, this was the only one that was upstairs at the time um, when I was getting this, and I got, when I got to the till there was a woman asking about it, and I'm sort of stood there kind of going, I have the copy, I hope she's not going to look for this because I've got it, so you're not going to get it. Um, so yeah. Sorry about that. Hashtag not sorry. Um, but yes, I'm the fact that I've not reread this already is impressive. It's it's tempting. Believe me, it's tempting. And also, uh, although it was a little bit early and naughty Waterstones a bit, but <laughs> I got Carry On by Rainbow Rowell and I've started reading this. Um, that is currently where I am. I have not been in. I'm ninety pages. Ah, oh. I've been reading uh, this more. Um, this this morning while I've had electricians battering the shit out of my house. I'm already just really loving it. It feels so British, it's weird. It's kind of really weird in how British it feels because it's like, Rainbow's American. This shouldn't feel as English as it does. And it's really, really weird. I can't kind of process, it's very odd. Um, so yes, I got those. And I'm trying to think for, for a timeline of when I bought these things. Oh God, my hair is, I'm sorry I'm gonna keep faffing with my hair because it's, it's really, and annoy me. Um, uh, something I bought for myself on my on my actual birthday when I was out and about uh, in town uh, was The Invisible Library by Gen Genevieve Cogman. I have read this. I also read it the same around the same time as read uh, Dark Shade of Magic. Dark Shade of Magic. Um, I read it on ebook, so I was like, I need a physical copy. And <laughs> when I treated uh, Genevieve Co uh, Cogman, I could say I got this on my birthday. And she's like, Happy birthday! I was like, Thank you. Super excited, it's so shiny. And she's like, oh, wait till you see book two. I'm like, ooh, much excited. So yeah, book two is apparently going to be really pretty. And why is it like, it's just random crap at the top. I don't like that. Why must that happen? Stop that. Okay, yes, oh shit, the bed. <laughs> if I could edit, I would edit out me like just nearly taking my eye out. I should nearly paper cut my fucking eyeball with that. Jesus. I think I'm okay, I think I'm okay. Not sure though. Jesus Christ, that was close. Whew. That would have been really awkward, wouldn't it? So Rachel, how do you lose your eye? Fucking sliced it with a book, didn't I? Okay. Um I show also oh let's go back to Waterstones. This is so it's such a mess. It's a it's a mess. I'm a mess. I'm a hot mess of a human. Um but yes. Waterstones again on uh, Saturday. Um, because I had a tutorial and then I kind of went into the centre of Nottingham uh, with the intent of going and sort of seeing if we could get into y, um, the YA, UK YA extravaganza. It didn't go well. It didn't go well. Um, people who uh, who have seen my Twitter uh, feed from, from Saturday will know it did not go well. That was a bad afternoon. A really, really bad afternoon. That's possibly one of the worst kind of afternoons I've had in a long time. Um, but I bought books. Uh, I bought, uh, I was buying one, I got one for Le Boeuf as well because he, uh, he wanted the fourth Robert Jordan book and when we went last weekend they didn't have it. This, that time, they did. Um, but the thing that I was like, I'm not leaving without, uh, is <laughs> this. Oh my god. <laughs> it's so beautiful. I. I've I started reading some. There's more hair here. I don't know where all this hair's coming from. It's not from me. I started reading it, and it's just so beautiful. Just like the first page of like illustrations with the Dursleys on it. Just, oh, I mean, that is just so perfect. It's it's I can't even describe how perfect it is, and it's just oh my god, I'm I'm gonna be crying over this, and it's. This is everything, and the next seven years of the for these coming out is just going to be, I mean, thirty pounds. 
fucking expensive, but oh god, they're so pretty. Everything's so pretty, and I can't, I can't deal with it. It's, I mean, I've got two copies of um, Philosopher's Stone there, so it's like, this is like my sixth copy, because I mean, I have a Spanish one, I have a French one, I have three English ones. I've got a few too many. Mm. Ah, and some other things that I, uh, I bought uh, when I was in in between um, much stress and uh, anxiety and everything. I got Stand Off by Andrew Smith because I read Winger last year, I think, and was just, oh my god. And I was just like, I need, I need this. And when I was um, the boy saw the back, I was like, like Tintin! It's like, no, it's Ryan Dean West! Tintin! No, Ryan Dean West! And that was, that was a very odd sort of little exchange we had. But yes, I'm super looking forward to this, although I feel like it's gonna like, if it stabs me in the feels harder than Winger did, it'll be some, it'll take some doing. Uh, I also got The Next Together by Lauren, e Lauren James, which is kind of awkward, the fact, because while I was buying this, she was two floors above me. And yeah, I, I, we'll, we'll not talk about Saturday anymore. Saturday was, so they're all the things I bought my, um, sort of like, birthday things, bought it for myself. A um, couple of things that are not bookish, um, well sort of, they are very bookish actually, they're very bookish, but they're not actual books that I got. Um, this, this, this was my birthday present from Jess, and I don't know if you can see that, um, but yes, we are going to the um, Harry Potter studio uh, tour again, because we went um, not long after it opened, like really soon after it opened, so there's a lot of stuff that's been added since then, like the train and all the dark, um, dark magic stuff, so we are going in December to see it all Christmasified, and it's going to be amazing. I just wish, wish, <laughs> like the dinner things were not so damn expensive. Um, I'm gonna drop in. Another thing that I got for my birthday off my sister um, was something I found in Florida. Weirdly, I found it in like downtown Disney, and it was like this little thing. But it's this notebook that has just quotes, like bookish quotes, because on the front it says there is no um, enjoyment like reading, which is a Jane Austen quote, and there's just like through the like so, so many pages and then there's the sort of the, the C.S. Lewis quote yeah you can never have a get a cup of tea large enough for a book long enough to suit me I was like yes every single quote in here is just perfect I mean it's just like books of the plane and the train and the road they're the destination the journey they are home it's like by Anna Quinlan that's just it's just the most perfect quote I've ever heard everything in the world exists in order to end up as a book I like that I like that a lot there's just oh, that's a very long one, I'm not reading all that. But it's like, it's gonna be one of the things, what will I, I don't know if I'm writing it, but all the quotes now are just amazing and I love them. So yeah, thank you. Thank you, sister dearest, for buying me that. Um, now the rest of the stuff I've got, barring like two books, which I did buy, the rest of a borrowed or gift, sort of. Um, when I uh, went to Jess's last week for another four today, uh, um, she gave, gave me some more arcs that she has now got finished copies for, um, or she doesn't really want anymore. So um, she's given give me her arc of The Wolf Wilder by Catherine Rundle, and I loved uh, Rooftoppers, and I've heard such amazing things about uh, this. And also the finished copy looks gorgeous. But I borrowed this to read it much earlier in the year, but I never got around to it, so I'm now going to have to actually read it. I will have to read it from the floor. And uh, she's given me her arc of Zeros by Scott Westfell, Margot Lang Lanagan, and Deborah. Biancotti and there's a lot of superhero -y stuff in sort of some YA at the moment because with the uh, Patrick Ness's one and it's like I, I it's an interesting uh interesting happenstance I'll have to read that I still never finished reading Afterworld by Scott Westerfell which is terrible I still ha didn't finish reading this beer muck series I need to do that and she also gave me her arc of um My Lad Next Door by Huntley Fitzpatrick because she's got the American like, hardcover because she really li likes that book so I got that and she's also lending me two books that I need to read, uh, which is Never Fade and In the Afterlight by Alexandra Bracken, because I bought Darkest Minds on when I was in Florida, read it, and then was like desperate for the others, and, but I didn't get around to buying them while I was there. And since this one's still in hardcover in the US, so I was gonna wait to buy it anyway. So I had those to read. <laughs> yeah. And I also borrowed some books from my local library, because I was like, I'm gonna see what kind of graphic novels I got. Um, this is before I bought all of them, but I also borrowed um, Cold Magic by Kate Elliott because Kate Elliott's just had a YA book called that um, called Court Fives, and I've never read anything by her, so I thought, eh, let's give this a go. It's kind of I read it all, 
and I was like by the end of it I was like I was kind of not sure how I was feeling about it because it, like I think something about the la like the language she used I, there was a bit at the end about her talking about how it's all it's like a kind of reimagined um like European world where like sort of like the German like sort of Germanic Anglo sort of culture didn't ever really develop it was just kind of offshoot some latin and sort of some of the app um, like a mali empire so it's a lot different kind of roots of language and things so i think she may try to use more like latin based like vocabulary than like sort of more germanic like saxon kind of more long um voluptuous words i say than uh short sharp fuck off kind of words uh, which kind of meant it was just sort of some of the phrasing was a bit odd to me and also some of the some of the like somebody gets married off in like the first few chapters with no kind of warning and she's like what and then kind of doesn't i don't know shank the guy it's i'm not sure what i think about i'm not sure i'm not sure i don't know if i'll read the next one i don't know um, but I also borrowed Through the Woods by Emily Carroll and this looks creepy as heck. Um, but I, yes, I have uh, this to read soon. I should get to this soon because I need to take it back eventually. I also got uh, The Nightmobile, night, The Nightmobile, The Nightmobile, The Nightbookmobile actually by Audrey ne uh, Niffenegger. I saw from Jen Campbell's um, videos about uh, Audrey Niffenegger did graphic novels and I didn't know that. I really really loved um, The Time Traveler's Wife so I didn't know that she did graphic novels so I'm, I'm really happy about that so I'll have to read that soon. And I also borrowed The Encyclopedia of Early Earth uh, by Isabel Greenberg. I heard about this from um, Sana Books and Quills um, because she, uh, I think this is one she really really liked. So I have this to read at some point and some point soon but it's, it's pretty big. It's pretty big. There's a lot of text in it so I have to get to it soon because I've got these to like the 23rd. But graphic novels take me comparatively a lot less time to read than anything else, which makes sense. Um, but yes, the last two books are just the boring study related books that I found in Oxfam because I'm doing a children's literature module and there's stuff about like literary criticism that I've never studied before in my life. So uh, this uh, has stuff about those, which I hope is not going to be too boring. <laughs> and I also got this uh, Reading, Writing and Reasoning, A Guide for Students by Funsies. And it was like one one forty nine or something. one ninety nine. For a book that's normally fourteen ninety nine, and about sort of essays and developing coherent trains of thought, I could use that. I could really use that. Um, so yes, I bought those for for cheaps and for funsies. Um, although it's not very fun. But yes, that is actually everything, which is remarkable. Since oh my god, there's so many books, and I think that needs to be most of. Although there's gonna, I mean, I'm. I'm gonna be going to the foil, the new foils in Birmingham soon. Um, not this weekend, like the next weekend for um, the Philippe Bardogo. Uh, well, she's not gonna be there, she's gonna be at the Waterstones, but we've gotta go and see that. So that could be, there could be another book after that. I'm not gonna try, hopefully. I'll try not to, I'll really, really try. Tee! Um, but yes, I have a lot of books. I'm not sure which, well, I'm reading, I'm reading Carry On. Don't know what I have to, what I'll do after that, because I have got an essay thing to write on one of those, on one of those things, so I've got to do that. I should do some work on that today, really should. But yes, this is only 20 minutes, well, roughly about. It's not bad, not bad considering how much I had. I was thinking it was going to be like half an hour. Now I've got to see if it'll take less than like 12 hours to upload or something. It didn't take last, that long last time. It was a bit, a lot slower than usual though. But we'll see. So I hope you're having a good Tuesday. It's Truth Witch Tuesday. <laughs> and it's the UK cover reveal. Oh, it's beautiful, guys. I've seen it already because um, I subscribed to Sue's newsletter, which is a thing you should totally do. Um, and it's, 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 it's glorious. It really is pretty. They're all, I mean, the UK art cover is amazing. And I wish they'd, it'd be cool to have that as a, alternative to the American one but it's still really really pretty oh my god it's so pretty but yeah like five o'clock if this video is not up by then yeah it'll be up you'll be able to see it it's amazing it's super amazing but yes this is gonna get long so I'm gonna stop now so 
hopefully you're having a good Tuesday and I shall see you soon. Bye.